Rubicon manufactures uh, artificial sapphire. Uh, it's used not for gemstones, but for technologies like LED lighting uh, and mobile devices, um, uh, camera lens covers, home buttons, those types of things. There's a lot of very unique uh, uh, properties for sapphire. It's the second hardest material in nature behind the diamond, so it really won't be scratched by anything except diamonds. Very difficult to break. Uh, for mobile applications, it has something called greater touch capacitance, which means you can, for fingerprint recognition, fingerprints can be read through the material uh, much better. Great transmission through the IR spectrum, so for defense applications, uh, sapphire windows and lenses protect the instrumentation and the uh, military personnel while being able to transmit radar signals through it. Well, there's enormous growth potential even within the existing applications like LED lighting and uh, smartphones and iPads. But it, Sapphire is beginning to be incorporated in really unique ways as well. So uh, uh, invisible dental braces, for example, razor blades, uh, very high-end razor blades. It's possible that somewhere down the road uh, all of our razor blades could be made out of Sapphire because it really won't dull over time. Uh, so as Sapphire becomes more and more affordable, we're finding more and more interesting applications for Sapphire because of its unique properties. Cost is coming down. Rubicon uh, has a number of very uh, interesting projects underway to continue to reduce the cost, uh, both in terms of reducing the cost to grow the crystals and fabricate the crystals, because remember it's the second hardest material in nature, so you have to use diamond wires and diamond slurries to, to work with this material. So we're finding innovative ways to continue to reduce the cost. Rubicon grows its crystals here in the U.S., uh, which is the heart of our technology. Um, we're able to do that uh, because we want to protect the intellectual property, uh, but also power costs in Illinois are very low. Uh, these furnaces that we build operate at 3,800 degrees Fahrenheit, so very high temperatures. We use a lot of power. Uh, we have very stable, very cheap power. Uh, we've uh, really built a lot of automation into our furnaces, so our labor content is manageable. So we are able to keep it in the U.S. and be very competitive. Some of our processes now are done in Asia uh, that are more labor intensive just to be able to compete. I was a CFO at Rubicon for seven years. Uh, the board of directors recently decided they wanted to uh, slightly ch change the direction of the company and uh, felt that was a very good fit for what they wanted to accomplish. So I'm very excited to be in the role. I've been in the role for a few months now and uh, have great plans. I think this could be a very exciting year for us. For 2015, we're going to streamline the organization continue to lower the costs, as I mentioned, but we have some really exciting R&D projects underway as well that could really transform some of the industries we're, we're uh, working on in the mobile device industry, for example. Creative ways to offer products like full face plates for smartphones at a very attractive price point. Uh, also large, very large windows for military applications. We develop a technology that nobody else in the world has and we think we'll be able to introduce that product by the end of this year.